But first tonight at six, after weeks of controversy surrounding allegations that she had an improper romantic relationship with a special prosecutor leading the 2020 election case, Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis finally responded with a court filing of her own. 11 Alive investigative reporter Zach Merchant has the document. Zach, what are we learning? What does it say here? We do. We have it right here. We got it just a few hours ago. It's more than 170 pages long. The big takeaway, DA Fonnie Willis admits to having what she called a personal relationship with special prosecutor Nathan Wade, but said that should not impact their roles in the case. In a court filing in January, a defendant in the ongoing 2020 election case asked the court to disqualify the DA, accusing her of appointing Wade as a special prosecutor and then financially benefiting from that relationship. But in today's motion, Willis said that is not true. Previous 11 Alive reporting revealed that Wade paid for airline tickets for the pair to fly to San Francisco and Miami. But today, Willis wrote, that is not in the entire case. She said financial responsibility for personal travel is divided roughly evenly between the two and all expenses paid for with individual personal funds. 11 Alive had also shown in earlier reporting that Wade was paid more than $500,000 more than the two other special prosecutors on the case. But in today's filing, Willis wrote that Wade made much more money than the other special prosecutors only because Wade did much more work. Two Atlanta legal experts, Daryl Cohen and Clark Cunningham, took different views on how they predict today's filing will impact the case ahead of a scheduled hearing next month. I think that the judge will look at it and he may, obviously he may do anything, but if I were to guess, he would say this is not going to rise to you having to disqualify yourself or Nathan Wade but you guys need to be aware that you're under a, the hardest microscope ever. I do not think this disqualification matter is going to be resolved uh, at the hearing on February 15th or anytime soon thereafter. I think this is going to be a very, very complicated matter. That upcoming hearing on February 15th will be the first time these allegations are directly addressed in open court. We, of course, will be there when it happens. All right, so a big development today, Zach, but that wasn't the only development concerning the DA. No, it wasn't in a, a related matter, but not entirely on this exact topic. Uh, the U.S. House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan released a letter indicating he subpoenaed documents and information from D.A. Willis. According to his letter we got a copy of earlier today, Jordan is seeking documents relating to the DA's office's use of federal funds after a conservative news outlet published allegations that Willis fired an employee who tried to stop the misuse of federal funds meant for youth gang prevention programs several years ago. In a statement today, Willis called them false allegations included in baseless litigation from what she described as a former employee who was terminated for cause. It's the latest in a months long back and forth between Jordan and Willis that Georgia State University law professor Clark Cunningham said may be rooted more in politics than anything else. I think if someone said that what what the what Jim Jordan did was a political gesture, I wouldn't disagree with that. So a lot to cover today, a whole lot developing out of Fulton County. We will, of course, keep an eye on all of it. And we know more will continue to come out. Zach, thank you so much. Well, this is a story that we have been covering for you extensively. To read up on the latest developments in the Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade allegations, visit our website, 11alive.com.